What are them? What are they? Are they turkeys? That's cool, man. That's cool. That's a good sign of things to come today. We're nearly there. We're going metal detecting. Come on, guys. So, very good morning to you all. Welcome to my world. Um, that's not the only two turkeys you're going to see uh, today. There's one over there called Mark. And there's one over there called Col. Uh, I'm metal detecting with them turkeys today. We're in the same place where I found a Henry VIII silver hammered coin um, two weeks ago, I think it was. Three, two weeks ago. Three weeks ago. I don't know when it was. I don't know when it was, but it was a good hammered coin. So we're back in the same place, same field. Um, it's very cold, it's very murky, it's very muddy, it's very wet. It's very dirty. It's it's not a nice day at all, really. But let's go find some gold. Come on, today's the day. So there's my first find today. It's not the best find in the world, but I'll tell you something. It's lucky. It's very lucky. If you have it that way, it's very unlucky if you have it that way, by the way. If you ever find one and you want to put it on a door, don't put it that way. You have to have it up that way. But yeah, last time I found one of them in this field, I went on to find an Henry VIII silver hammered coin, So, and that was on the very next hole. So fingers crossed there's a hammered in the very next video clip. It's not going to happen, is it? I can only presume this is a snare. It looks like a snare. So maybe I've just saved an animal's life there, I'm not sure. About uh, five inches down. Another rabbit lives lives on. Well the next signal is another horseshoe. Another one. Now this one is a horseshoe. The last one I didn't mention. I think it's from a donkey. They used to have donkeys in this field. Um, and this, I found a few small ones now. So donkey ones and horses. Quite a big horse that one. Right, let's go see Col, because I just heard he had a, a good strong signal over here. And they're very hard to come by these strong signals today. So I'm interested. It's looking very much like iron. Iron, it's, it's quite deep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> iron. See it from here. Another horseshoe, I'm sure. I'd go in this field today. I think I'm gonna go head into the next one. But we knew this from last time, there's not many signals in these two fields. But we didn't do them properly last time. Um, we're doing them properly today. And I'm going to find another hammered coin in there. And one in here probably, later on. Uh, and then maybe one over there. So that's three hammered coins, so stick with us, yeah? I'm just moving on to the next field and going down here. Um I'm quite reluctant to dig down paths sometimes because they're full of junk. They really are, and this was such a strong signal. But it is actually a coin. I think it's a modern one. It is, it's five pence. Just a modern five pence from 2009. Well, that's my first coin. Let's get into this field. I'm still on the path. Another horseshoe. They're getting bigger. We might find a mammoth's horseshoe by the end of the day. So here we are in this uh, furthest away field. And I've found something. Oh, it's not something super exciting, but it's proving that there's age in this field, look. We have a musket ball. So we're getting back a few hundred years now. Um, all we need now is some coins to, to go with it. Okay, I found something looking diamondish. It won't be diamondish, but it'll be something interesting anyway. Come down here with me. Look at the screen on, on this side, look. Where are we? There. Can you see that? It's, it's square, and it's got like little stony things in it. What are you? Ooh, look at that. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's got, it looks like it's got uh, nine little diamondy things in. And on the back, 
I don't know, maybe it was an earring, part of a brooch. Can't say for sure, but hey, a piece of jewellery. We'll settle for that. So whilst I'm blabbering on about my silly little thing which might have diamonds in it, Cole's just come over. You've found something good, haven't you, Cole? I have. I have. Look what he's got. A Roman coin. Now then, can you come in this focus? Yeah, that's as clear as we can see it. It doesn't look in the best of conditions, but hey, it is definitely Roman. Look at that. Look, that's a man or a woman. You can see its head. And there's writing on the side there. It's a Roman coin. So we've had a hammered coin, a Roman coin, and a five pence coin off this field. It's it's things from every age. Congratulations, Carl. That Thank is fantastic. Much, where did you find that? Thank you. Not far from where your bag is. In the middle of that other field. Okay. I know where I'm going. Okay, well, I ignored what I was saying. I was going to go over there. I didn't. I stayed where I am because I've got another signal here. Within two minutes, someone else is coming over. Look at him, look at him. Big smile on his face. I wonder if he's going to give me it for Valentine's Day. What have you found? What have you found? What is it, Mark? Roman. Ooh, a Roman fibula. Um, if you don't know what a fibula is, guys, it's a brooch. 2,000-year-old brooch. Look at that. That's on my uh, bucket list. Something I've never found, always wanted to find. Same Don't even own one. What a fantastic find. Congratulations, Mark. It's only my third one. You've got three, yeah? yeah? Yeah, So you've got two of them at home? I have, yeah. Not as good as that. No? Well, that's that's fantastic. You must be buzzing. Yeah, very happy with that, yeah. Um, so you've got two already, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll give you that She's back. Done. Thank you very much. Yeah. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Really, really nice one, that. I think there's a bit broken off. But it's still really nice. Well, if there's some, if you've got two already, yeah, maybe yeah. I don't know. Valentine's uh, present. You never know. A Valentine's, yeah. You, it's not Valentine's Day, is it? Yeah, well, but you still haven't given me a Valentine's, Valentine's present. present it's closer to April Fools, isn't it, than Valentine's Day? <laughs> oh, what an ass! What an ass! <laughs> He's not even going to give me his fibula. <laughs> Well, I'm going to find a fibula now. I can't believe we were here the other week. We didn't find anything Roman. And within two minutes, they both find a Roman coin and a Roman fibula. But I'm determined not to go back in that field. I'm sticking here because something's going to turn up. Well, the lads have gone back over there to the Roman bit. But coincidentally enough, I've just found something. OK, it's probably junk. It's probably nothing. But it is a rolled up piece of lead. Now, I can't remember the story about these, but apparently in Roman times they used to write on one side of them, roll them up and bury them. I, th I think it was uh, to make a wish or something, you know, maybe you want to put on there, um, Mary who lives next door, I want to get off with her and then you bury it and hope it comes true. I might be wrong, but I think it's something like that. So there might be some Roman writing in there with a bit of luck, but it's probably junk. Let's not get too excited. I'll let you know if it is anything good. Okay, an exciting little thing here, because it's round, it's thin. I don't think it's hammered. I don't even know if it's a coin yet. Can you see it there? What have we got? What have we got? Come on, be a hammered, be a hammered. The other guys have got Romans, I need something special. Whatever you do, don't be a button. You're a button, I don't believe you. You cheating little git. Oh, it's one of them boring, simple, pewter, nothing on it, rubbish, not Roman buttons. I can't believe it. <sighs> Just found a sexy little puller. It looks Victorian-ish. Could be older, I don't know. I'm not an expert on pullers. When I say pullers, I mean like draw handily things. Look, there you go. Yeah, that's quite nice. No idea on date. Um, 
I've seen it on old furniture which is 100, 200 years old so I'm guessing that's Victorian. I really don't know but it's a keeper. I just want to say a massive thank you to Liz for my cap. I must apologise that it's so mucky but I've had it in my bag and it's it's got it's got really really bad, really mucky. So I'm very sorry Liz, I will clean it uh, but thank you very much for my cap. I believe it's from Canada. Mackenzie, British Columbia, is that Canada? I think it's from Canada. My first ever Canadian cap. It looks cool, it suits me. Thank you very much, Tina. It's starting to get very warm now. Right, I've come to the place where they've found the Roman fibula and Roman coin in this area-ish. Just found this. I'm pretty sure it's not Roman. I'm pretty sure it's not a spearhead, but it looks like a spearhead, doesn't it? So I thought I'd better show it and somebody can tell me exactly what it is if I'm wrong. But ooh, it does look spearheadish, doesn't it? That's quite sexy. I think it's just made out of iron. What do you want? Found a spearhead. Bit blunt for a spearhead, isn't it? Yeah, but it's 2,000 years old. It's just blunted. That's what things do. Yeah, nice one. Thank you. Do you want to swap it for a fibula? I'm tempted. Tempted, but um, give me proof it's a spearhead and the fibula's yours. Fantastic. Proof. That's all we need. I can easily find a picture of one which looks exactly like that. Got myself a fibula. I've just realised that I've been making a big mistake. When I went to London, basically, with me, me dais, my uh, control box is broken. The LCD doesn't work on it. So I'm having to do everything with the earphones. Um, so I'm not seeing numbers, so I'm digging a lot more. Anyway, went to London, turned the discrimination right up because it was just full of iron on the Thames foreshore. And I mean right up. I've not turned it down since I came back, so the last time I was here um, I had ridiculously high, I've missed so many targets, I've just turned it back up and I'm starting to get signals and I might have found a cannonball, I don't want to get too excited because it's probably not, it could be like a small one, but where's my digger, there you are look, can you see it there, where is it? There, look, something round. Now, if that's a full intact round, that is going to be like a mini cannonball or grape shot or whatever they call it. Okay, let's dig this baby out. Ah, oh, it's half. Oh, that ain't even it, it's a rock. <laughs> it's a rock. That wasn't even my signal. I don't believe it. Is it a rock? I don't believe this. Colin's come all the way over to see how I'm getting on with this cannonball. The signal is there. All right, well, we'll do a live dig. I'm afraid it's not going to be a cannonball, guys, but you never know. It could be a Roman coin. It could be anything. Okay, it's not a cannonball, but it might be something equally as good. It looks like a cross, and it looks like it could be, could it be Roman. I don't know. Here, look. I saw a little bit of goldie on it. Oh, I don't know. Wow. Could that be Roman? Oh, it's like that at the back. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But I'm sure, yeah, I did. there is a little sparkling of gold in the corner there. So it must have been something, rather than just a piece of farming machinery. Don't know. Any ideas? Someone tell me, please. It's got a hole in the middle, by the way, but it's not a cannonball, is it? Gutted. It's not bad, though, is it, Cole? It's not bad. It's not bad, mate. It's not bad. Good, good find. Good Thank find. you. I've just seen this, which is rather disturbing. I didn't know until... Oh, look at it. I thought it was just a plastic bag. But no, it's a, it's a bird. Is it a heron? I don't know what kind of bird it is. Someone tell me. I think it's a heron. Look at the size of its beak. Poor thing. That's huge. Well, it's hard going today, guys. 
I'm not getting many signals at all. But, I've just found something here now. What would you say that is? Well, it focus, hang on. Now, I was staring at it and I thought, is it a penguin or some kind of bird? You know, you can see its uh, two eyes and nose and legs. And then I turned it round. It's not. It's a horse's head, look. An old lead horse's head. So I just found that horse's head. And over there is a white horse. And I've just found this bottle top with a white horse on the top. And it's called White Horse. Just the amount of coincidences I'm getting to do with horses and horseshoes as well. I'm finding everything apart from what I want to find. Well, I was just going to film these for you guys. Two uh, ladybirds there. I think they're a couple. That's the man on, on the left. That's the woman on the right, I believe. Anyway, as I was going to show you that, I've just been shouted over. Dan, I found a Roman coin, another Roman coin. Don't they make you sick? Let's go have a look at this Roman coin. Okay, I'm, I'm ready now, so can I take another look at your Roman coin? That's better, isn't it? Mm, it's focusing, yes, but... Yeah, it's certainly a coin. It's certainly a Roman coin, yeah. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Thank you. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much. But I've just found two ladybirds. Oh, yes. <laughs> so right now, I'm determined not to get too excited because I found something which looks gold. But I'm sure it won't be. Look there. You don't get more gold looking than that. I've not seen anything that gold looking since I last found gold. What are you? Oh, are you gold? No. I'll tell you what it is. It's a picture hook. Is it a picture hook? No. I don't know. Let's just presume it's not gold, yeah? But if it is, I'll, I'll come back to you and get really excited. And things just get better. As long as you're not me. Carl's got a hammered. First hammered of the day. Go on, put him on there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's quite nice. Let's have a look at the other side. Mm, I can't think it's... Out who it is, can you? I think it's an Edward the first or second. Short cross. Quite a common one, but yeah, very nice. Second hammered out of this field now. Two Romans, Roman fibula. And there's the geese again. The big, nasty, angry one's called Keith, apparently. And over here you've got some very scared-looking chickens. Right, we're calling that a day. We've had, what have you had? You've had a Roman coin and a, a hammered Roman coin. And a silver hammered, yes. And you've had a Roman coin. And a Roman fibula. And a Roman fibula. And a possible copper hammered. And, yeah, it's not. I've had ladybirds, a heron, turkeys, geese, chickens and a dog. Don't forget See the you horses. later. And a horse.